Hi, my name is John Dengman, and I am the Chief Appraiser for Class Valuation. In March of 2022, the GSEs, both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, introduced desktop appraisals into their respective guides. Class Valuation's property fingerprint solution serves both 3D scanning and property data collection, and it supports the desktop and hybrid appraisal process. The digital appraisal training series is intended to assist appraisers in the use of property fingerprint when completing desktop or hybrid appraisals. The appraiser's task of completing the virtual inspection of the property is the most important and requires your due diligence as an appraiser. Today, we're going to talk about smart tags. What are they? What do we do with them? And who can create them? As a reminder, the digital capture specialist or DCS who is scanning the property may or may not be an appraiser. Their job is to scan the property using our Envision Capture app and share their observations. It is our job as an appraiser to complete the virtual inspection, comment on those observations made by the DCS, and then include our own comments regarding the relevant property characteristics, the materials used in construction, the condition of the property, the views, and any other externalities that may be impacting the property. Property Fingerprint was built by appraisers for appraisers. The features and enhancements included in the application were designed to assist the appraiser and inspire confidence. Those features include geolocation, smart tagging, asset capture, a detailed floor plan, and a digital twin or 3D tour of the property. Smart tagging was initially designed for the DCS to use when scanning a property. The intent is to highlight something. It could be beneficial or adverse. Remodeling efforts or upgrades, damages or needed repairs are most often shared, but it could also include views from the exterior and or from the interior, like the floor to ceiling view of the ocean here. Now, smart tags can also be used to share non-observational events, in other words, smells and sounds, etc. Those things we typically experience only when we personally inspect the property. Now, because we own property fingerprint, we can make enhancements to ensure a more positive experience. So when appraisers like you, who understand property condition as well as anyone, and can identify those things that contribute to value, asked if you too could create smart tags, we made that happen. Your observations about the subject property should start in Envision. Each space is identified in the navigation bar on the left. Start at the street and look to the right hand of the screen and just begin scrolling down. The front center location presents two smart tags with notes associated with each one. Our first smart tag references an issue with landscape curbing. Click on the 2D flat image to expand to full screen and the damage you see to the curbing is likely related to the tree roots. It does not have an impact on the dwelling, and it represents a cosmetic repair at best. Close the image and document your observations in the addendum under the condition of the property. The next smart tag has identified some erosion and has a suggestion for a possible inspection. Click on the 2D flat image, and in this case, you can see there is no lifting, cracking, or sliding of the concrete driveway. Could the area use some topsoil? Maybe. This too would be considered cosmetic and no inspection would be required. Once again, close the image and document your observations. Scroll to the next location and continue scrolling until all of the smart tags have been reviewed. While this may seem time consuming, note that Smart tags are only used to highlight something, so we would not expect to see a smart tag at each and every location. This exercise should be similar to and no more arduous than the one you already complete if you were performing a personal inspection. There is some criticism by industry stakeholders and specifically appraisers of the property data collector or DCS and specifically with regards to their skill sets. With Property Fingerprint, we do not need the DCS to know what photos to take because we scan the entire property. We also do not need the DCS to learn the appraisal process, rather use common sense to draw the appraiser's attention to areas of interest or concern 
and allow the appraiser to use their judgment, which is, by the way, the best tool we have in our toolbox. So let's take a few moments to review some examples of smart tags captured by our DCS panel. Starting at the exterior of the structure, we can see a window air conditioning unit installed at the window above the entryway. It includes a drain line to the stoop below. Additional smart tags include the driveway with the surface material and notes indicating that it is a shared driveway. Imagery of the crawl space access in an example of excessive damage to the foundation. We have tags of the alleyway behind a structure and a driveway showing evidence of cracks and notes indicating they did not appear to present any safety issues. An overgrown tree noting that a section of the exterior was not visible as a result. Clog gutters, defective paint surfaces, and even broken windows are displayed here. A close-up image of the roof with damage to the shingles would indicate to the appraiser that there is a repair necessary. And here we see evidence of siding damage. Albeit small, it was still highlighted, allowing the appraiser to include their own observations and commentary based on their judgment. Those are examples of possible repair items, but the DCS also recognizes improvements too, like the new roof that was replaced within the last six to 10 years or the new windows within the last 11 to 15 years. Even the materials used for the replacement windows were described as vinyl. Electrical issues too are captured just like this missing cover plate on the exterior. The next two slides are interesting. The DCS included no smart tags. However, the appraiser included their own and in this slide, the appraiser called out for electrical repairs and specifically to address the exposed wires. A review of the 3D tour, which allows the appraiser to zoom in and out, showed there was a covered electrical outlet installed approximately two thirds of the way up the wall. This is consistent with the installation for a wall mounted television. Now we can also see from this view, speaker in boxes and two speaker out boxes uh, with speaker wires hanging from each of them. The wires hanging from the wall, well that's an HDMI and a coax cable for the television itself. These are not exposed electrical wires and should not have been made subject to. In the room next to it, was the main electrical box and the cover had been removed. This alone is a safety concern for any property, but more alarming is the orange extension cord protruding from the main box. Sadly, neither the DCS nor the appraiser created a smart tag to highlight this concern, nor was the appraisal completed subject to its repair. Other mechanical, electrical, and plumbing features are also captured with smart tags. Here we see smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detectors, thermostats, and heating elements, along with a photo of a water heater that is double strapped. A common observation is associated with the ceiling above our heads. Moisture damage and peeling paint in a bathroom, areas of a popcorn ceiling that may need repair, evidence of an old water leak and a required inspection due to the location of this leak which sits below the kitchen and the bath on the level above. The walls are observed too, and here we see unfinished drywall and missing trim. Looking at the floors below our feet is just as easy. And here is an example of the vinyl materials used in the hallway. Now the DCS failed to tag the missing trim, but the appraiser did not. Flooring repairs should be evident and clear. However, some may require that we use our judgment or even call the selling agent if it is a purchase or the property owner for more information. The photo on the right shows that some of the flooring is missing. It is no coincidence that the missing flooring is nearly the same width as the bathroom door. A conversation with the property owner revealed that the flooring was damaged due to the tight fit of the door. And before repairing any flooring, they would have the bottom of that door trimmed. Evidence of mold-like substances were observed in a bathroom with a recommended inspection. In the next two slides, we have a series of photos showing water damage. A little detective work, which includes a review of the floor plan, 
would confirm the location of each room and would assist the appraiser in understanding exactly what is happening here. This is a bathroom on the lower level. It has water damage at the ceiling and that water continues to run down the side of the tub surround. The cause of that water damage could be related to the bathroom above. It is identical to size and that bath is being used by the occupant to accommodate a family member with a disability. The shower curtain seen here is rarely if ever closed and the shower head is used as a handheld device and is seen hanging from the supply line. Excess water is gathering and pooling on the floor near the corner of the tub and is making its way to the bathroom below. As already mentioned, the DCS is going to select the room by which they are scanning and whether it's finished or not. In this case, the DCS did identify this as a finished family room, which was then included in the above grade finished square footage or GLA. The appraiser recognized that the overhead garage door was still in place and asked for this space to be changed to a garage and removed from the GLA. Like the exterior, the DCS will also highlight improvements to the interior. Newer cabinets and countertops that were installed in the last two to five years or new paint and new bathroom sinks in the same time period. Some below grade areas or basements will reveal moisture problems and this was no exception. The DCS has noted the requirement for a possible inspection and it would be reasonable for the appraiser to draw the same conclusion and reconcile the report subject to an inspection in their appraisal report. Here is another example of moisture problems in the below grade space. On the right side, the DCS highlighted the standing water and noted an active water heater leak. This is undoubtedly a subject to repair reconciliation of the report by the appraiser. Views are highlighted too. Here is a great example of a partial mountain view and an unobstructed view of the water. We just reviewed the smart tags created by the DCS. At the onset of this discussion, I shared that at the request of our appraiser partners, we made an enhancement that allows the appraiser completing their virtual inspection to also create smart tags on their own. Let's go through an example of how that task can be completed. In this example, the location or aerial imagery is made available to the appraiser near the top of the navigation bar. The imagery shows an easement behind the subject property. And from this view, we can identify one, two, three, and four high tension power transmission towers. This confirms the easement behind the subject property is in fact a power line alley. Before we go any further, now is a great time to remind you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you receive notifications of when new videos drop and make sure you visit the digital appraisal training series where you can check out the virtual inspection video in its entirety. During our virtual inspection, looking at the rear of the house, we see three points of ingress and egress and one of them a balcony which will provide some additional views if we need them. As we spin around, we're looking for any view of those towers. The tree lines obscure any view of those towers and from both the south and the west. However, from this center view, we can see the power lines themselves very clearly. We can use the mini map to access the second level and from there the balcony. Once again, the towers themselves are not visible, but the power lines are and this view provides perspective looking past the adjoining property and over the hill approximately 150 feet from the fence line. Prior to creating any smart tags in Envision, you will need to take your cursor to the top of the browser window where the toolbar resides. From there, just click on the Edit Order button. Using the navigation bar on the left-hand side, we can scroll from the location to the balcony. Note that there's one report image here and an individual 3D tour of that spin. Click on it and then turn towards the wires. Zoom in and pan down until the view is as desired. At the bottom of the screen is a smart tag button. Click on it. The image will be made available and through a series of drop downs, 
we're going to select Views, Utilities, and High Voltage Power Lines. From here, select Partial View and identify that view as Adverse. Now, whether the location of the view has an impact on the subject's marketability or warrants an adjustment in the sales comparable grid will be market driven. But in the description box, you can then comment on what you see, and in this case, it is simply power lines located in an easement behind the subject property. Once you're satisfied, select Save. The smart tag will now be incorporated into the Property Data Advantage report for inclusion in your appraisal. Creating a smart tag is that easy. And in a future enhancement, you'll be able to create the same smart tag in the walkthrough itself, making it even easier. If you are interested in learning more about Class Valuation's property fingerprint, then visit us on Tuesdays or Fridays where we demo our technology and show how the data is collected made available to the appraiser for consumption, resulting in a successful desktop or hybrid appraisal experience. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to review this information and our continued efforts on sharing the digital appraisal training series to you. If you found it to be helpful, remember to smash that like button. And so you don't miss any other videos, remember to hit subscribe. If you have any questions regarding this issue or others, or simply would like to learn more about joining our digital appraisal panel, then please reach out to our digital desktop hybrid team for assistance. Have a great rest of your day and be safe out on your inspections.